Hello and welcome back to The Note. Well, we had a very bad start to the day, a very sharp sell-off in Shanghai. And in recent years, a sell-off in Shanghai has generally led to contagion across the rest of the world. It didn't happen today, and that really is quite a positive sign. It suggests that animal spirits are recovering elsewhere. Europe had a good day. Here in the US, the stock market had another good day with the result that it's now actually back to its levels from the first week of January. It's reversed all the losses it's made since then. It's above the 50-day moving average if you look at the S&P 500, suggesting that the short-term trend might even be positive for now. Now, what lies behind that? Well, if we take a look at this first chart, you can see that the US remains in the lead. What we're looking at here is how the FTSE All World Excluding the US Index has done compared to the S&P 500. And you can see that basically ever since the uh, Greek crisis last summer, the rest of the world has drastically underperformed the US. Now, obviously, in the first few weeks of this year, you saw a, a sudden fear of a recession in the US. Even when there were fears about a new recession in the US, the rest of the world continued to underperform. The US continues to be a critical driver for the rest of the world. And that's important if we take a look at this next chart. Uh, which looks at economic surprises. These are very popular data kept by Citi, uh, and a surprise indicator shows to the extent to which the most recent economic data are either beating or lagging their uh, consensus forecasts. As you can see in the case of the US, the red line, the beginning of this year saw a very sharp dip as uh, a lot of data began to suggest that we really were might be in really might be in recessionary territory and you've seen a recovery in the last few weeks the most recent data point from today was durable goods orders which looked much better than uh, previously meanwhile in the eurozone for a very long time it has looked as though they are really much healthier that has drastically gone into reverse in the last few weeks as you can see hence the us outperformance continues in many ways, we are back to the status quo ante at the beginning of the year, which was that lots of things really didn't look great, but the US economy looked as though it would survive without a recession. And while the US avoids a recession, downside is limited. That, I suspect, is where we are now. There is no great reason for optimism because US earnings look awful and US stocks look too expensive. But if we can believe the latest numbers, and we can avoid a recession here in the US, then yes, the downside is limited.